I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you guys. Okay, good news is progress is amazing, okay? And from additional research, it looks like neutrons will be involved in what's happening at the sonoluminescent crush site, okay, with the nickel. That looks legit and real. Bad news is I don't think I can just, I don't think it would be right to just beam out step files and plans to make this thing just as soon as I get it working out into the ether. I think that's probably irresponsible been doing a little bit of research on this. So basically how we're going to make this safe is in the sphere of water that's inside of the reactor that has a radius of less than 20 millimeters, we're going to design a solution so that the mean free path of any neutrons that might be created are going to be less than, way less than 20 millimeters. Let's say we design it for 10 millimeters mean free path. We could potentially add boric acid as a neutron poison, just turn those neutrons into heat. We could add gadolinium-3 oxide in colloidal suspension, sort of like our nickel's already gonna be in suspension. We could put some gad in there. Um, barium sulfate, bismuth nitrate. There's some other things we can play with here. I'm going to get this all figured out first, do the white paper. You guys can watch the videos as it happens. I think that's fine, but I'm not going to just button up plans that are have step files in them and everything and just beam them out. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna do this carefully so that nobody takes this and forgets to put something in it and ends up cooking themselves. Um, I think once these neutron moderators are in there, it's gonna be super safe because nothing should ever exit that sphere of water, okay? And then we can put shielding around it too, like some concrete compounds with um, various things in it, obviously like lead, right? Um, anything with boron in it, right? So uh, that's sort of where things are at. So good news, bad news. This is still progressing very fast, so stay tuned. Let me know your thoughts on the whole open source legal side of things. Um, appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Adios.